thing I did not do, I like I had nothing to do with anything that happened with that. I was not even questioned about it at all. I did not get questioned. I did not get interviewed, talked to at all. They just arrested me and charged me with these charges without any evidence. They have no evidence that I was there that night that I did that. So I don't know why they're charging charging me with the murder of that lady, you know? When they arrested you, did they go go to your house? And what did they say to you? No, they, I was at a gas station and they came out of nowhere and just tackled me and arrested me very, very viciously. And they also arrested my mother for, um, for harboring, harboring, harboring a fugitive. And she didn't even know I had a warrant, neither did I. We didn't know that I had a warrant for this, you know? Do you know Zachary Stewart? No, Johnny, no. Johnny, you can look at up. You don't have to speak into the mic, so don't pick it up. You can just look it up. Yeah, just look it up. You don't have to lean down towards the microphone. Just kind of forget about those. Because we can hear you pretty good. Okay. Look, that way I can see your face because you're ducking down. I can't really see you. Thanks. And you'll be looking at Matt. You can look back this way, yeah. So, so sorry, did you know uh, Keelan? No. You don't know who he is? No, like, I've, I've seen him around, yeah, but I don't know him like that, you know what I mean? I, I, he's not, like, a, a friend, like, he's not an associate. I've seen him around, you know? Like, he's not a friend, he's not an associate. So did, were you there that night? Were you involved with any, anything involvement with, with maybe getting something after the fact? No, not at all. If I was there that night, there would be uh, there would obviously be proof and, and like, you know, there would be proof that I was there that night. I was not there. I, like, this is so sad that I'm being charged for this. Like, I did not do nothing, you know what I mean? Like, you think this is, is this a case of mistaken identity then? And yeah, the yeah, it totally is. And they need to look for, further into this because Santa, Santa Clara County has a very good investigation team and they still, they're not, they're not doing their job right. They're, they're, when I get out, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get out pretty soon because I got a very good lawyer and he's going to get me out. He's going to get me out because I was not there that night and I did not do what they're saying I did at all. How far away from Miss Flo's house do you live? Is it very you? far, very far. You don't live in the neighborhood? No. You've never seen her or knew of her before? No. Have you heard about the case? Yeah, on the news, yeah. So what did you think of it? I think it was pretty sad because the same thing has happened to my grandmother. My grandmother was also robbed and beaten, but she didn't pass away. But the same thing has happened to her, so I think it was very sad, you know? So you, you're adamant that you're, you're innocent? Yeah, I'm innocent. I did not do nothing. And there's, there's no proof that I did. There's no proof that I did do something. That's why I don't, I don't understand why I'm here arrested for those charges. And the person who did do it, whoever did do it, they need to speak up. They need to speak up and speak up and say what they did. Because I was not there that night. And this is very sad that I'm being arrested for something I did not do. Where were you that night, do you know? Yeah, I was at home. And you said Zachary Kuhn isn't a friend of yours, but you know of him. How do you know him? Like, I, I've seen him around, like, from, from other friends, you know? So, like, a friend of a friend, like an acquaintance? Yeah. What do you think of him? What, what, what was your impression of him? And don't lean in. You can say, you can I, hear you. I really didn't hang around him. I just, I just seen him, you know? Like, I didn't hang around him. So you never had a conversation with him? You never talked with him? No, not really. Not really, but just how then? Like, like I've seen him briefly, you know what I mean? Like, I, he's like, I've seen him briefly. And where would you see him at? Like, where, at a party? Like, at a, at a store or, you know? So he, so he lived in your neighborhood? No. You just had mutual acquaintances and friends? I guess so, yeah. And is your mom still, you said your mom was arrested? Is she still in jail? Yeah. Have you talked to your family members? Yeah. What did they say? They said that that she's arrested for harboring a fugitive when she had no idea that I was a fugitive and neither did I. No investigators came to talk to me. No investigators came to look for me, to talk to me, to question me, nothing. They just fucking arrested me and, and charged me with these charges. And that's very sad because I did not do what they're charging me for. So you had never been interviewed by anyone before? No, at all. At all. What did, what did they say to you when you were arrested? They just, they didn't tell me that I was being arrested. They just, they arrested arrested me, they took me to the investigator. 
the investigator tried, uh, he wanted to talk to me, investigate me. I said, I want my lawyer present. Can you bring my lawyer down here? And then he said, no, you're being arrested. And then I said, okay, what are my charges? They bring, he wouldn't tell me. They bring me downtown and said, you're being arrested for, for murder, for, for Miss Glow's murder. Which is crazy because, like, there has to be some type of evidence for me to get arrested for this. Like, I was not there that night. Have you ever been to Miss Glow's house? Never, ever. Never once. So what's your alibi? You were home, you said. Yeah, I was home. How do we prove it? You, can you prove that? Yeah, I can prove that. How? I have an alibi. How do you prove it? What is it? Was your mom home with you? Was someone there with you? How yeah. Many, how many family members were home with you? Maybe two or three. And you were just home all night? Watching TV? Yeah, I was home all night. What do you do? Are you, do you work? Do you go to school? I work. Where do you work at? I was work, at the time I was working at Burke Industries, but now I'm working at the solar company. What company? <clears throat> What's the name of the company? The solar company? Um, just solar. Do you know the two girls who were arrested when they let the Zachary Kuhn into their house after the crime? Huh? Do you know the two women? Do you know Perla Ariola or Jennifer Hernandez Jimenez? I don't, I don't know Jennifer. You know Perla? How do you know Perla? Um, I, I just I just know her. In what way? Well, did you date her? Was she a friend? A yeah, friend? I used to date her. Do you think it was her that maybe told the, the investigator something? I don't know. So you don't have any, nothing's been presented to you. you you're thinking maybe you're doing court case today. Maybe you'll get some more idea of how, why they arrested you? Yeah, hopefully. Because this is very messed up. They're, they're charging me for something I had nothing to do with at all. At all. No involvement at all. Have you talked to Perla since, uh, since, since her arrest? No. Who's your attorney? Glenn Sigahara. Out of San Jose? Yes. Now, am I the first person you guys are interviewing? Yeah. Out of the, out out of the, the defendants, you mean? Yeah. So, this interview is going to go on the news, right? All day today. Huh? All day today. So, you have your first court appearance. What are you hoping for? I'm hoping for justice. Can you, can you hold your head up a little bit? Can you sit back a little bit? No, no, it's, it's fine. I don't want my face all over the news. All right, Johnny, thank you. Um, and you can call us if you have something to say, then feel free to give us a call again and or let us know and uh, we'll come out and if you have something you need to know. <laughs> <laughs>